Hey toy fans, we are back. Uh, I found something yesterday. The great thing about Hasbro owning um, Mr. Potato Head and then having ridiculous amounts of licenses is sometimes they can make uh, an absolutely bizarre Mr. Potato Head. And so we have the Yamdalorian and Tot. So I'm very excited. Um, next to it I have what is my original Mr. Potato Head. And I do believe... Um, well, Mr. Potato Head crossover. And I do believe this is the first crossover they made, Darth Tater. Um, I've had him for many, many years now. And so I'm excited to add uh, another Star Wars one to the collection. I know they've made others. I actually have an Optimus Prime. I have a Star Lord. But uh, the Mandalorian is top notch. And my wife, when we saw Hasbro was making this, definitely wanted uh, the little Grogu. So um, let's just get a look says there's 14 pieces, so you've got all sorts of pieces over there. you got your normal Mr. Potato Head pieces, but then also the Mandalorian helmet and the little Grogu tot. Um, just look at what he looks like. And then on the side, you can see you can sort of mix it up with all sorts of the Mr. Potato Head things. So we got the little satchel to carry the little guy. Here's the helmet. Oh! When they call him the Yandalorian, they aren't kidding. Look at the color on that one. That is not like a normal potato. That's more like a sweet potato. Front plate. And the feet, obviously. We'll start with those on the base. Yeah, just warnings. Warnings don't choke to death on this. Let's see what we've got inside here. There's all sorts of stuff already loaded up in him. Nose, hand, eyes, covered in some paper. Eyes. Oh, here we go. Here's the little guy. Looks like a little tiny, almost potato-shaped head as well. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And what else we got in here? Two ears. Those are almost certainly just going to stay inside of him with the nose. The other arm. And the mustache. So the mustache, the ears... And the nose are all going back inside. They're not staying out. Let's get them started. Put them on his feet. There's a big old cape. The peg to stick it in there. His helmet. Got a peg to stick in the top, and there's a little hole here. Put my finger behind there so it stands out, so you can see where the eyes are going to go through. So let's start out by putting on his Beskar armor. Um, let's throw on the cape. Right, let's throw on his arms next. Let's look at the box and see how this is supposed to work out. Okay. Okay, this helps. So I put that in the wrong spot, I think. I think. No, I put it in the right spot. Oh, it's a child's toy mark. This should not be that complicated. And yet here I am. Struggling to figure out just which holes I need to be putting things in. No, there's no way. 
That definitely goes down there. Yeah. All right. So that goes there. Tape goes on here. We're getting somewhere. Bag's got a hole, so I need that to go under the cape. <laughs> oh my goodness. So these holes in the side of the armor line up so that it goes through the armor and the bag right into his side for this arm over here. There we go. Everything's aligned right there. Come on, get in your arm. All right. One arm. Second arm, I've only got to line up the armor. So that's helpful. Put some eyes in, as I said. You can sort of see that that lines up right there. Now we can fit the cape on the back. And then the top goes right here. Ta-da! Bum, 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 bum. Who doesn't love it? I love the Mandalorian. I love um, weird crossover things, hence the multiple Mr. Potato Heads I have. So the Yamdalorian joins Darth Tate or Optimash Prime and whatever they call Star Lord that I have somewhere down here as well. Uh, I love it. I bought it at GameStop for $16.99. Just found it yesterday. They announced it within the last. What? I don't know what I paid for it because on one sticker it says $16.99 now on the other it says $15.99. I paid something for it, so whatever. There's a dollar difference. I was going to get it anyway. I'm glad I have it. It's super fun. It's a child's toy and it took me way longer to put together than I thought it would. But at the end of the day, you've got the Mandalorian as a potato with his tiny little tot to go with him. I am Mark here at Mark's Toy Box. I am pleased to own this. Hopefully you're pleased to own whatever is in your collection. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.